In Ireland, there is a legend known as Virgorta, which translates roughly into hungry grass. It is believed to be cursed by malevolent spirits, and the patches of dead grass were feared as harbingers of death. Whoever walked over a patch of Virgorta would be doomed to perpetual hunger. Yet, such stories are often seen as fairy tales in today's society. In fact, one of the alternative names for Virgorta is literally fairy grass, as Irish mythology attributed the curse to fairies, who in mythology were spirits of nature and the dead. This is unlike modern versions that we have come to associate with children's tales. As a lover of folklore, I admit Ireland has always fascinated me, but I have never actually gone there myself. Instead, I often explore my own nation's mythology. However, I have family who moved from Ireland during the Troubles. They shared with me what I would consider a very standard fairy tale, yet I still feel it worth sharing. This story concerns a man, his dog, and his young son, all of whom were native to the land and often explored the more remote areas of Ireland that tourists ten tend to frequent. They enjoyed their treks through the countryside and the man often shared stories with his son. One day, the man went walking along a patch of grass when he suddenly felt a pain in his stomach. His son came over to see what was wrong. The dog, however, barked repetitively and would not go near the patch of grass. The man would soon head home with his son. Their troubles had just begun. Over the next few days, the man developed a ravenous appetite, yet continually lost weight, his hunger becoming so great that he would even begin to eat dog food from the can and often neglected his son. As a result, the son also grew weak and some local authorities were called in. They decided to take the son into temporary care while they had a doctor evaluate the father. He became so thin that he was almost literally skin and bones. The doctors couldn't find out what was wrong with the man, and despite going to the hospital, he continued to fade away until he eventually died. This was a devastating blow for to his young son, who now faced an uncertain future as his mother had long been absent in his life. This left authorities with little choice but to put him into foster until he could be adopted, a high price to pay for stepping on a patch of grass in the remote corners of the world. <laughs>